Calving can be a scary time for homesteaders, but you can make it less intimidating by being prepared. Today, I'm going to show you how we prepare for calving on our homestead. Before we start though, we would really appreciate it if you could like and share this video so that YouTube pushes it out to more people. So Marigold here is our Brown Swiss Jersey mix. She's around four years old and her due date is March 9th, which is less than a month away. And this is her second baby. So this is the calving that we are preparing for here. So the first thing that we do to prepare for calving on our homestead is offer our cows free choice minerals and salt lick. This though is something that we like to offer not just at calving time, but all year round to all of our cows, because at any time they could be lacking a mineral or salt that they need. So by having access to this, they can get it when they need it. The second thing that you can do to prepare for calving is provide your cow with a good grain ration. Now, good grain ration can mean different things to different people. It's all going to depend on your cow's breed, age, what you want her weight to be. Um, the only thing that would apply to everyone is you want to buy something that is high quality. Now, if you are providing your cow with alfalfa at this time, now is the time to stop giving them alfalfa. It is way too high in calcium for right now. The third thing that we like to do here is clean and go over our birthing kit. Now everyone is going to have different supplies in their birthing kit, but here are a few that I think everyone should have. The first one is iodine. I like to keep a 7% iodine on hand to clean the calf's navel once it is born. The second thing is towels. Any old towels will do, so this is something free that you can add to your birthing kit. The third thing is soap. I like to use Dr. Bronner's Castile soap for when we're using it with our animals, but even just a plant-based dish soap will do. The fourth thing is warm water. Make sure that you have access to warm water in your cow pasture, whether it means you have to heat it at your house and bring it over like we do, or if you have a way to heat it over there. The fifth thing is gloves. You're going to need gloves on hand for lots of different things during the birth. The sixth thing is equipment to pull the calf. Now there are lots of different things that you can get to pull the calf. Just make sure that whatever you use is safe. The seventh thing that we like to have on hand is blackstrap molasses. And this is for your mother cow after she gives birth to give her extra nutrients and energy to help her recover. And obviously to go with that molasses, you'll need some fresh water. The eighth thing is a nursing bottle. And this is for just in case the calf needs colostrum right away and can't get up to nurse, or if the mom is struggling to let the baby nurse. Another thing you want to have on hand is your vet's phone number, and you'll want to make sure that this is a number that you can call at any time of the day, any day of the week. The final, but definitely not the least thing, is CMPK. Now, whether you want to buy boluses, I think I'm pronouncing that right, a bolus, which is like a giant pill type shape, or if you want to buy tubes of gel, is completely up to you. Some of the differences would be is that the pill-like shaped ones, the boluses, are going to be a less stressful way for your cow to receive CMPK versus the gel. Also, the gel burns their throats, so you want to give them something afterwards to help soothe that burning. And the other big difference is that most of the time, the boluses contain a lot less calcium than the gel. So what you decide to give your cow is going to be whatever is best for your cow and what's best for you. All of this stuff will cost around $50, give or take, depending on what quality thing you get or what location you're in. So it is definitely worth it to have all of this stuff on hand. The fourth thing that we like to do here in our homestead is go over our cow's health. Now that can mean taking your cow to the vet and having them actually checked up on. But here we just check over our cows ourselves. And this usually means for us, we take a look at their body score, make sure they're at a good body score. And what we did with Marigold is we also dewormed her, which is something that should be done routinely. We deworm our cows with DE and apple cider vinegar, but you can get something from your vet or you can do it with natural remedies at home. The last thing that we like to do to prepare for calving is go over and clean all of our milking equipment. This is not something that you're going to want to have to do once your calf is born. You're going to be super busy taking care of your calf. So now is the time to check up your milking equipment. Make sure you have everything you need. The first piece of milking equipment that you will need, obviously, is either milk pills or a milking machine if you have one. Either way, make sure if you have a milking machine that all the parts are clean and in good working order. And if you have milk pails, make sure they're not damaged and you can clean them and use them again for this time. 
Another thing you'll need on hand, obviously, is gloves, and you should have those in your birthing kit anyway. Another thing that we like to have on hand is other bomb. Uh, usually, though, I don't buy other bomb from the store. You can also make it yourself, but I just like to use a little coconut oil. Works just as good. The next thing that you will need is soap and clean water for washing the udder. Again, I like to use the Dr. Bronner's Castile soap because it's free of nasty chemicals, but even plant-based dish soap will do. The next thing is old towels and rags for washing and drying the udder, but this is something completely free that you can add with your milking stuff. Another thing we personally like to have on hand is a tea dip cup and tea dip. Now, I make our tea dip at home, and if you guys want to know how I do that, let me know in the comments below and I'll consider making a video. But we also like to have the tea dip cup because you waste a lot less with one of those and they're only like $10. You will definitely need a filter, funnel, and jars for filtering and storing your milk after you milk your cow. There are different ways to set this up and you do what's best for you. Another thing you'll need is a way to restrain your cow. You can just go basic like we do with just a halter and lead or you can buy things to actually restrain their legs if they're bad kickers. The last but definitely not least thing you'll need is a treat and a bucket to feed it in. Once your cow has been milked, she's definitely going to want a treat. So make sure you have something high quality to give her. That's definitely going to depend on what your cow's needs are and what's best for you to feed them. Make sure you check out my video about the five signs of calving. I'll leave a link to it at the end of this video, so stay tuned. If you guys want to see the birth, if we catch it, updates afterwards, and how we care for our calf, make sure you guys are subscribed. And if you haven't already, like and share this video out. And I would love you all to comment. Let me know any questions that you have. And I'd love to know when your calf is due. Thanks for watching and we can't wait to see you guys again soon.